Hello Bandy fans, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a really exciting review because we have the Crash Bandicoot Classic Deluxe Edition from Head Start. This is the one that was leaked uh, a couple of weeks ago and I covered it here on my channel. I did want to get a new background because, uh, well, this paper's getting a bit bashed up now so I wanted to replace it. But this just arrived way faster than I thought it was going to arrive. It was supposed to arrive somewhere in February but it's already arrived so that's super exciting. Here is uh, the box. As you can see, it's quite a large box. Um, if I start by comparing it to the 4-inch figure line here, you can see it's about the same size height-wise, but it's a much, much wider. And of course, the Crash figure is much, much bigger, but we'll compare those in just a minute. We'll compare him with the uh, loose figure. This guy right here, you can already tell. They're going to be quite different, so this is really exciting. I really love the box because I love these kinds of boxes that you can open and reseal so the figure, uh, so you don't have to rip him off a bubble so you can still keep the box nice and safe. I'm, I really appreciate that head start, thank you very much. The only problem is, well something obviously happened in shipping and uh, well his, his fist is now loose in the box which could be a real bummer for people who want to keep these in the box pristine. There are lots of really serious Crash Bandicoot collectors who love mint condition items, love keeping things in the box, and it's going to be really difficult for them to um, deal with this. Me on the other hand, I'm going to open this one and I'm going to review it, so it's okay, it doesn't matter too much. I just hope it hasn't been scratched from uh, rattling around in there. We can take a quick look at the box in some close detail. So we've got the Crash Bandicoot logo there. This time we actually have the Crash Bandicoot 4 Crash on the box. If you'll remember, the uh, earlier Head Start ones had the Insane Trilogy Crash on the front and then the, and then the Crash 4 Crash on the back. Um, it's a little bit incongruent, but this time, yeah, it looks great. We've got the Crash 4 Crash and we've got some Wumper Fruits coming out here. It says Ages 5 Plus and of course the Deluxe Edition on top. We've got some wood. This is a really lovely box. I mean, it looks like it's out of, you know, the Crash Bandicoot world. You've got some leaves there. I'll show you the other side really quick. And then you've got... Um, kind of yellow. I guess that's because uh, it's leading in from Crash there and then it turns yellow on the side. Really nice! On the back we have even nicer graphics. So we've got the interchangeable mouths here. It says interchangeable mouth and interchangeable hands. There's only, there's only one set of each for this figure. And you have a really nice image of the Crash figure on the back there. I think, if I look really closely, I think this is a 3D render. Which makes me think that perhaps these figures are made through 3D printing, perhaps? Or it's just really touched up and so it looks like, uh, it looks CG, I'm not sure. And then on the other side we have all of the, um, all of the figures they've already released. So it says, also available, 4 inch figures and it has all the characters there. Yes. And then down here it says, Head Start 2022. Very, very nice. Warning, not suitable for children under 3 years. Small parts, choking hazard. Yes, that's very, very important. No, we're going to try and open the box carefully now. There's a piece of tape here and a little tab. We need to carefully cut this. So I think it opens like a door on the back. Yeah, somewhat, somewhat like a door. Oh, here we go. So it opens up like this, and you have this really lovely little background. So if I were going to display him, which I probably will, i definitely love to... Um, cut this off and have this little background piece, you know, to stand him on. That'd be great. Okay, now we're inside and this is how it's packaged. We've got a bubble. So we open up these flaps. We can release the bandicoot. There's his hand. Okay, that's a nice box. This is a wonderful box. I, I just love the fact that, you know, it, with this one, you could you can open it and enjoy him and display him, and then if it comes time that you need to, you know, sell him, pass him on, or you just want to put him back in the box for kind of a boxed mint condition display kind of thing, you can do that very easily. Yes, and here's the fist, so this should have looked like that. That's how it should have looked when it came. The wonderful thing about this is that there are actually none of those little um, ties. There are no... Um, they're not cable ties, there are no twisty ties, and there are no rubber ties, so... Yeah, so this was the question we were asking in my previous video. How will the mouths attach? So there's a peg in the centre, there are two pegs on the side, 
and then there are kind of two ridges, one at the bottom and then one running across the top, and that's probably going to give a really firm, a firm grip. So we'll pop the arms out again. Okay, there's the other hand, and then the man himself. Okay, so here he is. He's a really lovely figure. One of the problems with these smaller four-inch figures was that the limbs were really loose, so the figures keep falling over, mainly the hips. They were very loose. But uh, this new one, he's very stiff. That's great. Look, he holds his position very well. That's a, an amazing improvement. Okay, well, we want to do a size comparison. There we go. Look at that. Don't they look fantastic together? Like Small Crash and his big brother. <laughs> They are considerably different in size from the 4 inch and the, I think it's a 6.5 inch figure. Yeah, look at that. Okay, wonderful. I think this figure is going to scale nicely with the NECA figure. So let's just quickly, for size comparison, let's compare him to some of the other figures. Here he is next to a Rosaurus figure, and here he is next to a NECA figure. So they actually scale quite well, I like this. You could have your insane trilogy crash and your Crash 4 crash kind of meet, you know? They kind of worked w very well together. So hopefully if this line gets a Cortex and an, and, and an engine and a Coco, then they would scale really nice with the uh, NECA figures as well. You could have all the characters together. That's so wonderful. I know these are kind of a weird choice of figures, but these are the only ones I have on hand that aren't, you know, that are loose. So let's get to the figure then. So. You can see that he has a remarkably improved paint job to the smaller versions. Obviously with the bigger figure they can do better paint work. So his shoes are really shiny, gorgeous and shiny, very well painted in, in, in my case. He, re he retains the toes on the bottom and pegs, so if you want to put him into a stand. And that's where you'll find some copyright information just on the feet there. There is unfortunately another copyright thing here or just a kind of, I don't know, product code which I'm not a fan of these on any figure, but they have to do what they have to do. Yeah, you can see the nice airbrushed highlights on the trousers, giving them a really nice kind of 3D look. This is uh, this has extra texture here on the leg. We've got all these little dots going in to make it look more like fabric. Uh, the smaller line doesn't have that detail, so that's really nice. That's really nice. Uh, there he is on the back, and for articulation, his feet actually seem to be on a peg, ball peg, so uh, they can go up and down, they can swivel. That's really nice, look at that. Nice range of motion. Goes all the way round and can go up and down just a little. That's wonderful. He's also got the, <laughs> it's actually quite tight. He's got uh, knee articulation, as you can see, that's quite obvious. So the knee bends. Yeah, it bends to just about there, just almost 90 degrees. And obviously the, the thigh joint also goes up like that. Then his little, I don't know what to call it, belt or just the top of his trousers there has a nicely detailed band. I think he can also swivel at the waist. Yep, so that goes 360 of course. And his his sculpt contains lots of uh, fur. So there's lots of fur going all over him. It's very subtle. It's very cartoony. It's not like the uh, Rosaurus Dingadel where it's done in quite fine detail. It's more of a cartoony style try and match the Crash 4 style. And he also has that um, ab crunch, I think they call it. So he can uh, move move his body down like that. So this is nice. This is a good, this looks much better than on the pictures that we saw. Then we come up to the shoulders. He is also still in the A pose. His arms do go up and they do come back down, but he's stuck in that kind of A pose. It doesn't change from there. Then you've got his elbows, which go up and down. Oh, and look, he has lovely airbrushing on his shoulders and his elbows. Nice highlights here. I really like this. And uh, there we go. So you can see that. And he also has, of course, he has the wrist swivel. And what can I say about the hands? Well, I love that he's maintained the pads, really nicely detailed pads on his hand there. Or should I say paw? This was also present in the 4-inch version. In this case, it's much shinier. It looks very nice. You get lots of different textures with this figure because you have glossy areas like the shoes and the gloves and then you have some matte areas like the fur. Um, yeah, very nice. And then we have the head, which uh, it doesn't swivel. It looks like it should swivel because there is a joint going all the way around the head, but it doesn't swivel. But that's okay. 
It would be nice to give him a little bit more emotion by swiveling his head, but unfortunately not. And then we have his cute little face. Now I think it, this fur does give a more Crash of the Titans look than a Crash 4 look for me. I think it looked much better on the 4 inch line where it was just kind of smooth. But it's okay, it looks nice, and I understand why they did it, because they have to disguise the fact that this pulls off. If we look at the eyes, he has very beautiful eyes. In fact, I don't have any complaints about the paint on this figure. Really, really well done, very nicely applied. He's got his eyebrows, which move! <laughs> Fantastic! So, the necker ones, of course, were on ball joints where you could move them in two directions. You can move them up and down and you could move them side to side. These ones are just on simple pivot joints, so you can just move them up and down. You can give him all kinds of different, look, different expressions. Look, he's sad. That's great, sad crash, kind of neutral crash, an angry crash. <laughs> That's wonderful. Okay, and then we can see his mohawk. His mohawk is really nicely detailed, really nice. Nice sculpt, and the fur even goes up on the ears, which I'm surprised about, which also have some airbrushing to make them look nice and highlighted. They did a really good job with the paintwork. If we look inside his ear, we can see there's some peach, and I think they did a good job painting the peach as well. There's a little bit um, over on the fur, but they did a great job. They look lovely. They look really cute. So now let's try the main feature, or the main draw, of this, and that's the interchangeable limbs. His other mouth sculpt, this one is just a closed mouth, as is the four inch figure. Then the new one is him sticking his tongue out, which was on a lot of the uh, promotional art for Crash 4. He had his tongue hanging out. Uh, so let's try and pop this in. It's a really nice sculpt as well. I like the teeth, the tongue and the mouth are different colors. There's a little bit of a, you know, kind of obvious where the paint meets. Perhaps that could have been blended a little bit nicely, you know, between the teeth and the tongue. But yeah, from a distance, it looks great. And from that angle, it certainly works. So I'm going to give his nose a yank, and we'll see how easy this is. Oh, there we go. Oh my god, that's horrifying. <laughs> oh, he looks so weird. But yep, yeah, there's the mouth. Now I must say, the body of the figure is quite stiff, quite hard. Whereas these uh, these pieces, are they're a little bit um, softer. I'm not sure if that's coming out very obviously, but they're a little bit softer, which makes them really easy to kind of push in and plug, um, to pull out and plug in. Well, we'll see, we'll see about plugging it in. So here's the new face. Let's get rid of that kind of abomination we just saw. Oh, aha, okay. That was easy once I, once I figured out the angle. So let me take it off again and we'll try again. See if that works. So if you slide it kind of from below, yes, yes, that's right. If you slide it from the below angle, so instead of trying to put it on straight, you must slide it on from underneath. Yes, 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 see? So you go from under like that, and then push, and you can get it in. And actually, yeah. Oh, it's not that noticeable. Yeah, look at that, he looks so cute with this new face. Look at that, that's great. Lovely, lovely figure. And now we'll try the hands, shall we? So we've got a fist here for punching. We'll pull off the... Uh, Gently try and pull off. Oh, there we go. So that's pulled off, and that's a ball joint there. So we take the fist, and there we go. So now he's got a punching hand. Okay. And that still swivels lovely. There we go. That's nice. So you can see he's got two different kinds of hands there. All right. Very nice. And I suppose we should... I kind of like the idea of him having two different hands, so I think I'll probably leave mine like this, because it is the most different to the four-inch figure you know, on display, but then you can change them whenever you want. The hands are a little bit... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Smack the camera! Look at the hands are a little bit hard to get off, but you can see it's just a ball joint like that. And then we've got the other fist. Okay, I got the other fist on. So I'm not that strong, and I had to put quite a lot of effort in to put those fists on. That might just be because it's the first time using them. So if you're younger or infirm and you don't have that much power, then definitely ask somebody to help you get those on, just for the first time. I'm sure it will get easier over time. Um, but what you really want to do is, n it's not a kind of like push and pop, it doesn't really pop on. You're going to have to sort of put it in and then kind of twist it until it sort of settles on. That's the easiest way to do it. And there we go, there's Crash with his fists. Ready to punch you, ready to start boxing, eh? There we go. 
Get him in the ring with Tyson, eh? <laughs> They're great. The fists are lovely. I really like them. They still maintain the, uh, the glove texture down there. And you can see his fingers are wrapped up. Really cool. Really nice. Yeah, Head Start did an absolutely amazing job with this one. Let's make Angry Crash. He's angry. He's, he's concentrating. He's ready to take on Cortex in the ring. There we go. Yeah, Head Start. Great job with this one. This is great. In the previous video where we discovered it on Amazon and we found out that we had the prototype of it, a few people commented saying it looks cheap or it doesn't look so good. Well, I have to say, in person, this figure is going to blow you away. It's actually really, really good. Um, the 4-inch line is obviously made to be cheaper, to look, you know, it's obviously a little bit cheaper because it's smaller, and there are, they sell at a really good price point for what they are. Um, I like to say these are like the Jazzwares Sonic toys of the Crash Bandicoot world. Um, but you're going to be pleasantly surprised when you get this. Yeah, it doesn't look cheap, doesn't feel cheap, paint job's wonderful. Um, I only wish we had more hands and more faces to put on because this is a really great figure. So, wow, I hope I hope they make a pack or something like a Crash Mouth pack or a Crash Hands pack, and we can keep um, we can get more and more of these and and uh, make this Crash really customizable. It'll be great for animation, which uh, which I love to do and lots of other people love to do. So, wow, fantastic figure, really wonderful box as well. That's great. You've got a lovely backdrop in there for him. This is just a wonderful figure. Yep, I recommend him 100%. Definitely grab this guy, he's wonderful. I hope they make a Cortex one, a Coco one, an Engine one, that'd be so cool. I think I prefer this this scale to this scale as well. This, these like bigger, chunkier figures, you know, stiffer limbs. Wow, fantastic. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope to see you in the next video where I'm going to review even more Crash Bandicoot merchandise. So stay tuned, remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below telling me what you think of this guy. Wow, what a great figure. Game over. When will you ever learn, you miserable bandicoots?